Welcome along for the Stamp Around UK video hop. You're watching Esther at Stampin' Star Creations. Please be sure to check out the blog hop below with the links in the description. So I start off with a matte layer of piece of cardstock and I've got some strips of coloured card here, all different lengths and different sizes. So I'm going to go ahead and use my tape runner just to lay down some glue so I don't get in too much of a sticky mess laying down strips down the card so that I can go ahead and just adhere my coloured strips to it. So starting with the darkest colour first I'm going to create a rainbow effect and I'm keeping one straight edge and it just makes it easier for cutting later not to have too much to cut down. So laying these colours in a rainbow order and like I said it didn't matter the fact that they're different sizes, I quite like the fact that they give a, a different look having shorter ones and larger strips. Just checking that I've got enough space at the bottom there to fit on the purple ones at the base. Turn it over and then give it a good pat down to make sure that's all adhered nicely. And then I'm just bringing on the trimmer here to try and find out which is the best way to put this thing in. Um, I have got a bit of overhang at the bottom but that's fine. So I'm just chopping around all the edges and this gives you a nice neat edge around your card. And you're left with this gorgeous rainbow effect card. I'm just giving it a spritz down with water because the layer is quite thick and this just helps when you run it through the embossing folder. Uh, if you've got a particularly uh, thick embossing folder or you want it to have a good impression without tearing the paper, this is a good way to do it. So using my new cut and emboss I'm going in with layer one and four and it gives you this gorgeous impression once it's run through the machine. So I do want to use a bit of embossing paste as well but before I do that I'm going to use my two and a quarter inch circle bunch cutting out a piece of post-it note and I'm going to use this to mask off an area on the card where I don't want the paste to go. So layering on my decorative mask, which is the polka dot type one, and then using that embossing paste to be fairly generous and make sure that there's good coverage around the outside, but not minding so much about the edges, having it quite free flowing around the edge. And then peeling off the mask to reveal that lovely embossed, bumpy, raised dots then just gently taking off that masked area in the middle then I wanted to add a bit more colour to this so I'm going in with some gold embossing powder and if you lift up the card as you do this this falls just in places on the card rather than covering up all of that embossing paste which I didn't want it to do just shaking off the excess and making sure I get it back in the pot before we have a spillage. So you can heat up the embossing powder with the paste and that just heats it up. And then I've cut some well said dies. I've gone for happy wishes because this is a nice cheery card. And using the same gold embossing powder I'm going to heat set that onto my letters. This is where tweezers are your friend. It can be a little bit fiddly but I think it's worth the look. So I've heat embossed it once and going in again with the Versamark and powder for the second time. And I actually do this three times altogether. This gives a really cool raised image to your sentiment. I go back in with some matching cardstock and I'm just cutting out with the balloon punch some flowers to add to the card to give it some more decoration. And then using the uh, take your pick tool and the lid on the end just to squash down the middles on the piercing mat to give it some dimension so they're not too flat when you come to put them on the card. I thought that the the sentiment got a bit lost so I've added in a two and a quarter inch black circle and this just really helps everything to pop. So with that space it came in handy because I'm going to go and stick that on with dimensionals in a minute. It gave me a nice clear space to be able to stick that down without having the bumpiness of the embossing. So just carefully going in with my 
multi-purpose liquid glue and adhering the sentiment and then plenty of glue in the centre of the back of the flowers to make sure they stick down onto my card. Then gluing the whole thing down onto some black cardstock to finish off the card. I'm adding in these gorgeous black iridescent pearly rhinestones in the centre of the card which kind of brings it all together and these are available in the Autumn Winter Catalogue 2020. And there's the card, lots of embossing going on, lots of textures and fun things for this card. Thank you so much for watching. You can subscribe to my channel if you're not already a subscriber. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. And if you like my card, you can give me a free thumbs up. Don't forget to hop along and check out what all the other team have done this month for the theme embossing. So I'm going to go and have a hop around to see what they've been up to. Thanks for watching.